Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your daily vibes for the 17th. No, the 16th. What is today? Today is the 16th. Tomorrow's the 17th. My apologies. I'm a day off, or I'm a day behind, or something like that. Anyhow, this is for the 17th. We're going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use this deck over here. This reading may or may not be for you, you know. It is what it is, right? If it is, great. If it's not, so be it. What do we have for the 17th? Overall energy. This is the strength card. This is about, you know, finding the strength, finding your inner power, courage, confidence. You notice it did come out reversed. I mean, we're not going to keep it reversed because it's an overall energy, but we could. I mean, this right here is a loss of power, a loss of strength. Somebody has probably given their power away. And, and you know, I'm, I'm going to take it back right now. I think you should probably do the same thing. I'll use this one next. Strength, courage, confidence. Face your pride, face your ego. Somebody is about ready to open up, right? They are. They are. Somebody is about ready to face their fears in a really, really big way. Or they already have. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. The page. The page. See, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting all kinds of messages. So this is the woman holding a coin. Woman holding a coin. So this is this is the Queen of Pentacles. It is. This is a woman who knows her value. She has a lot to offer. She's worked hard for what she has. She's very valuable and she knows it. And she should be. Because she's, she's proud of what she's accomplished. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I don't know what more to say about this card. We need to get a bunch more cards, but we definitely have this woman here who ha who knows her value, and we may have this could be another person. I don't know. We're gonna find out with all the rest of the cards, but maybe noticing their own value. And she knows her value. She's the queen of value. It's funny. It is funny. It's funny. Okay. She's got she's got a golden opportunity in her hand. Let's get one of these. She may, this, if this, you know, this could be you. You know, obviously this is for some somebody. This is you taking your power back. You know, finding your self-worth. Could be another person, though, seeing your value and needing to find the courage and the confidence and the strength to, you know, pursue. I mean, there's a beast right there. There is. And, you know, we have somebody here that's been trying to tame themselves from their inner beast. <laughs> Whatever that means. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's Leo. It could be anybody. I'm just telling you what we got here. Let's see what we get from this. <laughs> it's a good one, okay? Because we all need to hear it. Everybody does. 
because right now it's it's a it's a very powerful time. There's a lot of powerful energies going about, right? Everybody's feeling them. And you you need to you need to find the confidence and the courage and the strength to master your emotions, you know, during this time. Especially if you know your freaking value. If you know your value and you're dealing with somebody who doesn't value you, well, you might need the courage to restrain yourself from hurting them. Just saying. I mean, I don't know. We got a beast here. Half beast, half tame. You choose. Anyhow. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to you and through you. I added to you. Let's get the cards. Whew. The time is now. The time is now. There it is. The time is now to head towards balance and harmony based on what you value, based on who you are. Somebody is finding the courage and the confidence to, to go after what they want. we got for the 17th it's funny because I'm the I'm the I'm the queen of pentacles not that you guys care about this it just came to me I, I got gold nails today and I got on a green shirt money I'm Taurus Virgo Capricorn I'm Taurus Sun Virgo rising and Capricorn moon I am triple earth and Look at the colors. I mean, there's very symbolic of the Queen of Pentacles, of this woman holding coin. Weird. It's weird how that happens a lot, stuff like that. There's no such thing as coincidence, mind you. Pay attention to synchronicities. They're there for a reason. Somebody could be receiving money, a big payout. Or they see the opportunity that, that this woman has. I don't know. This woman has a golden opportunity in her hand. That's the truth. Whew! <laughs> well, you know it looks like she, she may... Uh... <laughs> She may have made some poor decisions in the past, or she may be making a poor decision right now. I don't know what this is. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who doesn't save her money. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't save her money. She she doesn't bank it. She doesn't make wise decisions. She spends it as fast as she gets it. She's suspicious. She's jealous. She's not grounded. She's made poor decisions. That's for damn sure. Look at there's an there's an absence of stability here. There is there's an absence of stability. Somebody has brought themselves backwards because they were grieving. Okay, they were grieving the loss and they self medicated perhaps with spending. People do that shit, right? You know, retail therapy, whatever. I feel as though there's some bad news coming in or there is some news being delivered that you know you're in trouble for spending too much money for some of you. Um, I don't know if that's the case for everybody, but this is good. Okay, this one is good. So, hmm. now this is beginning to realize you have another opportunity. The Five of Cups is coming out of the darkness. It, this could be coming. This could be. I don't know if this is a financial reading or what. For some of you, it is. This is coming out of a a period of lack. Really, it is. You may have went backwards. You know, and and now you're going through a recovery and you're getting your money back. For some of you, your money is coming back. There's that strength card again. 
It's funny, we have some duplicates here. This is confidence. This is willpower. This is ambition. Drive. Queen of Cups reversed. Huh. Woo. Wow. And for the person or the people that are going to say, fix your cards, fuck you. I'm authentic. I use this deck all the time. Everybody knows it. If they come out reversed, there's an absence of something. There's a reason why they come out reversed. I'm not fixing my decks. Somebody has, has <laughs> made a poor decision. Okay? There's no doubt about it. Somebody has made a poor decision. And there's consequences for that poor decision. There's consequences. There, there is. I mean, i got to be honest with you here. It's not like I want to do this reading, but I'm going to. Okay? There's been a, there could be a lot, there could be, there has been a loss of ambition, right? There's been a loss of drive. There's been, it's been a very emotional time. There's been, it's been overly emotional. Somebody has let themselves, there could be addictions that have gotten in the way. You know, somebody hasn't been able to master their emotions and things have gotten out of control. And I feel like we have somebody here that is now recovering. This is recovering. Okay. This is recovering. This is recovering. We got somebody that is recovering from going backwards because of the decisions that they have made. A recovery is happening. So you're, you're picking yourself back up. That's what's going on here. I feel as though, <laughs> you know, somebody uh, may be getting some bad news that, I don't know what it is, but there's some something that you may not want to hear. Some sort of news may be coming in. You know, um, this Four of Swords reversed is... is You know, there could be a judgment that's not made in your favor. I'm just being honest with you. I got to be honest with you. I mean, this there could be something that happens because somebody made a poor decision, you know, and now you got to pay the consequences. I don't know what that means. It says there's nothing to worry about because you're going to be fine. So you're going to be fine, but I don't like this reading at all. Anyhow, um... There's definitely a loss here. There is a loss. There is a loss. And it, it could be a financial loss. But what I mainly see is a loss of ambition, a loss of drive. Somebody hasn't put in effort. But they're recovering now because they found their, they've refound their strength, you know, to get their ass in gear. So that's a good thing. Anyway, um... We definitely have bad luck. We have some bad luck here. Because somebody wasn't practical at all. Totally ungrounded. Like, <laughs> totally being stupid. You know, just like, whew, no, no common sense whatsoever here in the financial arena we have somebody here that made a poor decision based on emotion and it cost them some money yeah, that's the, that's what we got here can't make that shit up anyway so um but i see you coming out of it whatever this is i see it coming out because we have this woman holding coin she's got it in her hand now it's, it's here it is thank the lord Anyhow, um, now somebody, if this is, this, if, I'm just going to get some more cards. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. That's, that's, that's making progress. 
restoring balance and harmony. It's like somebody has made the decision to open up their eyes and do something about it. Things have been delayed. Things have been delayed. And now we have somebody that's being overly cautious. It's like I'm, I'm totally, you know, setting up a barrier here. There may be some um, fear of some sort with that Two of Swords reversed. Denial. Maybe somebody was in denial. They didn't even want to accept something of some sort. Ooh, Page of Swords. This is the truth coming out. The truth being really... A message is coming, okay? I'm not answering the phone. Anyhow, um... A message is coming that you don't want to hear. And there ain't no doubt there is. Somebody is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. That's the truth. Maybe an opportunity that they thought they had has gone south. You know, it didn't materialize. I don't know what this is. Could be anything. Some, this is walking away. This is Eight of Cups is walk. Somebody is walk. Somebody may re be receiving a message that somebody is walking away. Huh. Interesting. Could this whole thing, drama, whatever it is, somebody could be walking away because of a fight over money. Honestly. There could be some money issue. You know, that, that'll, that'll, that'll hurt a relationship real fast. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles. You start begging her for money and you're in trouble. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so there, 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 there's, there could have been some sort of conflict that was started over money and now somebody's leaving. I don't, want to, I don't want to be stuck here anymore. I don't want to block my success. I'm headed towards balance and harmony. I'm finding the strength and the courage. I'm not going to be a victim to your... <laughs> lack of ability to uh, whatever. Pay up. <laughs> you know, you can't pay up. You, you, you don't offer anything emotionally either. It's like some, we got somebody here that is an... Is a mess, okay? They they can't save any money, and they're an emotional mess to bat, okay? So we got somebody here is is probably like, you know what? I don't have time to deal with this shit, you know. So somebody may be receiving a message that I'm leaving. Keep your money, keep it, you know. That could be the case. Um, but she's holding on tight to her money. That's what she is. That one right there holding on tight. So she is holding on tight. Interesting. We got somebody here that is holding on tight. <sighs> no victory, no success. This is victory, success. This is no victory and success. We have somebody here that has not been mastering their emotions. This one is. This one isn't. There's been a there's been a delay in success because of somebody's own mentality. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. You know, they were trying to I think they were trying to prove themselves by, you know, doing this and doing that and buying this and looking good in the whole nine yards and you know, now they're broke. And it's caused of some family feuds. There's been some feuding. There's been some. There's been some uh, disagreements and at home, you know, because you know we got somebody here that's like, where is it? It's gone. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but I just came out. Okay, it's gone. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm hearing. I don't know who this reading is for, 
but I feel like we have somebody here that overspent their money and it has caused a huge, or there's money issues at home. There's been a huge family feud that has spiraled out of control and somebody is walking away. They may be asking for a divorce or a split, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I see. I feel as though there's no more growth here. There's no more even desire, right? I don't have any desire to be here. I've hung on and done everything in my power to make this work. Somebody has really tried and persevered. But there's no more wish fulfillment. And it's like, like we can't heal this situation. You know, we, there's no healing in this situation. There's no victory in success. It's, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. There's too much conflict. And somebody's just like, you know what? I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to be in this place of uh, stagnation, looking for victory and success. I think somebody is recognizing that, you know, they have to find the strength to let go, to find victory and success. Let go of somebody that doesn't contribute or doesn't pay up or doesn't whatever. And it's like it, there's not love there anyway. I mean, there's no love in these cards. I'm sorry, but there isn't. Maybe there was at one time, but whatever it is, I don't see it now. There ain't. So I feel like we, somebody is going to receive a message that, that somebody is breaking free. That's what this is. It's over. This is a 10. It's over. The, the 10 of Wands reverse is breaking free. I'm making a conscious change our conscious choice to drop this burden, to drop this responsibility. I can't carry all the weight. Yeah, somebody, somebody's deciding to drop the, the dead weight. I mean, that's what's going to happen here. So I feel like somebody is making a choice. There's probably going to be a, a, a conflict or a conversation that comes about that, you know, causes probably a family feud or a family argument or there has been and somebody's like, Pshaw. bye. You know, I see somebody giving up. That's what, that's what I got here. That's the reality of it. We have a person that couldn't master their emotions they were a complete mess they were overspending they can't save money they don't work or whatever the case is we got somebody here that can't contribute at all and the other person is like i can't i can't i can't have a one-sided relationship i don't want a one-sided relationship it, you know i want balance and harmony so yeah i feel like we have somebody that's breaking free they are they're they're dropping this load it's nope no mm -mm. so yeah that's what i see I, I want equal i want somebody who's gonna put in effort i want somebody who can contribute this one can this one has the money that's why i'm like what the hell is this because i don't understand but i guess we got somebody here that well I mean, I've made some poor decisions in my life, but I'm luckily I'm not. Well, I have. But anyway, we're not going to talk about me. But anyway, um, this is somebody who's good. This is re somebody who is completely recovered. But anyway, we, we have uh, somebody that is it wants reciprocation. You know, we, this, is, this is a team. This is a team. It takes two to bring balance. You know, you... you, you it is. That's what it is. I think we have somebody here that is deciding to break free from a partnership that really isn't a partnership. Because I want, you know, I, I, I want, I want, you know, 
takes two. We got two different hands here. You know, it takes two, not one. And if and if it's going to be one, I might as well be one. You notice there's nobody in that card with your her. You know, I might as well be one. So, I feel like we have somebody here that is is walking away from a situation because perhaps they were treated unfairly. Um, by another person, maybe that person took advantage of them and didn't contribute, and the other person's just like, you know, I'm not gonna carry both of us. Anyway, I don't know where that who this is for or whatever, but this is for somebody, and somebody is finding their strength and their courage and their confidence to face their fears and walk away from a situation it because they want something solid and stable and secure. So. That's what I got for the day. I mean, I'm, I can't, there's nothing more I can give you other than somebody's not happy where they're at. They've held on as long as they can. It's too heavy. They recognize that there's victory in success once they find their strength to stop hindering, you know, whatever. It's their success. You know, they, this is the card of free will and fate. You have, but your free will plays a part. You have to take that step. You have to spin that wheel. It's time. It's time for a change. Or the card wouldn't be here. It's time to complete this cycle. The card is in this spread. That means it is time. It's time. The time is now. Like I said at the very beginning of the reading, before I even laid out these cards, I said the time is now to close that chapter in your life that has cost you whatever. Maybe it's cost you emotional imbalance and it's cost you money. Somebody's walking away. I see that I got a better opportunity. I know, this is what this card is. I know that I got a better opportunity. It's a golden one. I'm going after what I deserve because I don't deserve this. So that's what I got for the 17th. Somebody is walking away. Now I'm going to do my private readings that I have. I have some of them for tonight. I'm booking out to May 4th and 5th. I do not do career readings. I do not do finance readings. And I do not do anything about your health or court. I do love relationship readings. I'm out to May 4th. Two questions, 65 bucks, 20 minutes, video.